Vizak would have to develop. I am assuring you, okay, we have court cases going on, we have so many people trying to oppose everything. But I am assuring you, post-election, my stay would be in Vizak. In fact, my swearing in ceremony also would be in Vizak. This is my commitment to Vizak. And now, what is the vision for Vizak? See, we, we need to have a 10 year vision. We would have to own this city. Person, the city as executive capital, become part of the city. And have a 10 year vision. You know, we need to have a roadmap which is workable, which is doable. It cannot be a roadmap where we just dream big but yet achieve nothing. Because it is impractical. Not so. We need to have a practical solution, we need to have a practical approach and we need to have a vision which is realizable in 10 years time. Of course, this vision is one vision which cannot be alone done by the state government. It would have to be the state government, it would have to be the central government, it would have to be a PPP model, it would have to be encouraging private people also to become part of the vision. All these people become part of this vision, only then we can realize Vizak is the next competitor in a decade's time to Hyderabad, Bangalore or Chennai.